Good news, planet Earth. Some of the most powerful voices in the most popular form of music on the planet are going vegan at a ridiculous pace. Why is that good news for the planet? From hardcore, outspoken members of the Thick Gang, like Will I Am or RZA from the Wu Tang Clan, to artists who are vegan for their health, like ASAP Rocky. I ain't ducking niggas, I ain't ducking bullets even. Shit, I ain't duck so since I became vegan. Shit, I ain't duck so since I became vegan. Nigga flock with Jody Caesar. Or Nipsey Hustle and YG. Hey, fuck down, try. Fuck down, try. But one of my biggest influences, Stick from Dead Prez. To people who aren't vegan yet, but who are very publicly moving in the right direction and helping to save millions of animals' lives in the process by promoting an animal free diet like Jay Z, Beyonce, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. You want that plant based great taste? And one for you, one for you. The employee of the month is at it again, y'all. It's no surprise that my fellow vocalists, whose body is their instrument, and that applies to singers too, who are going vegan just as fast, are deciding to fuel their bodies with the proper ingredients and keep the decaying dead bodies out of their stomach and put living, plant based power into their engines instead. But what makes no sense to me is that the most successful conscious hip hop artist in the world right now, one of my favorite rappers, someone who's been preaching peace, love, and positivity his whole career, someone who's an outspoken animal lover, is himself still eating animals. I'm of course talking about Logic. If you don't listen to hip hop and you don't know who he is, real quick, he is a platinum selling recording artist. He had a number one album and a number one single in America this year in collaboration with Eminem. He was even the first rapper to become a number one New York Times best selling author. He's a big deal, but more importantly, he's got a big brain, a big heart, and based on his own words, he's probably the most overdue celebrity on the planet to finally come over and join us. The gang? Other than maybe Leonardo DiCaprio, who's like 99% vegan already, or Bill Nye the Science Guy, who I'll be reaching out to next week, so subscribe if you haven't already. Because of how obvious it is that Logic is already vegan in heart and mind, and because the best way to get through to a rapper is probably to lay it down on a beat. A few months ago, I released a music video, kind of a letter in rhyme, so to speak, and very personally based it on his own music and life. Between the original version and one that Vegan Gain shared with an intro on his own channel that I re-uploaded to my Instagram yesterday, that lyrical letter has been seen by 60,000 people so far, which is dope. But here's the thing, I don't think it's actually gotten through to the man himself yet. And that's probably my fault, because at the end of the video, I asked people to tag Logic and tag the RZA, the vegan founder of the Wu-Tang Clan, who's one of Logic's biggest influences. But the way Instagram works, Every time you check your phone, they're only gonna give you the most recent 90 notifications or whatever. And I'm not famous, but some days if I release a song that's doing well, or if someone in the UK shares some of my music while I'm sleeping, I might wake up and 90 notifications only goes back like an hour. So I end up not even knowing what the fuck happened. So imagine what it's like if you've got millions of followers. I don't think he saw the notifications. But now guess what? He's coming to my motherfucking city. And just in time, I think I may have actually figured out a way to get through to him. No, I'm not talking about going to get roughed up by security outside the stadium he's performing at or being some kind of creep lurking where his car pulls up or something like that. Be like, go vegan, motherfucker. I'm talking about sending this video to his manager who, unlike Logic, doesn't have millions of followers and might actually see the notification. His manager's IG tag is CZBMG or if you live in Canada like me, CZVMG. Zed. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. So please tag him, maybe tag his label, Visionary Records doesn't have a crazy amount of followers either. Please ask them respectfully to share my letter with Logic. In fact, you can even do this now while you're listening. Why is this so important? Imagine what would happen if somebody who has the ability to press a button on his phone and instantly reach millions of people, the average one of whom eats between 100 to 200 animals a year, were to follow through on his own mantra of peace, love, and positivity and become a living example of that to his fans. You do the math. Or if Logic saw the Game Changers, yo Logic, go watch the Game Changers, and shared it with his millions of followers. Maybe someday even became an outspoken voice for animal rights the way he already is for human rights. And by the way, even if someone only cares about human rights, they should still be keeping animals off their plate 
for numerous reasons, but especially this one, the most important human rights crisis on the planet. The fact that 9 million people are starving to death every year while we instead fatten up 65 billion farm animals for the slaughter. And to his manager, Chris, if you're seeing this, first of all, let me just say to you personally, uh, actually as a Canadian, first of all, I need to apologize <laughs> for filling up your notifications, sorry about that. But seriously, first of all, thank you for helping bring Logic's music into the world. And secondly, far from being offended, I honestly think Logic would appreciate the Dear Logic song if he had a chance to hear it. I think he'd get a kick out of it that someone took the time to listen deeply enough to his music, his art, and made that kind of effort to get through to him in his own language, so to speak. I mean, you're his manager, but I'm sure you're also good friends by now. I'm sure you genuinely care about his well-being, so why not share some information that's gonna benefit his health? Especially now that he's on tour and I can imagine how tiring that is, and he's gonna be a dad soon. But for basic biological reasons, one of the first things you notice when you switch from eating animal carcasses to eating plant-based protein is the increased amount of energy you get. And that can only benefit his stage show the same way it benefits professional athletes who are going vegan at an even faster pace than hip hop is for that exact reason. Anyways, the bottom line is, Bobby, you're already vegan in heart and mind. So let me hook you up with some Beyond Burgers before your Toronto concert is coming Wednesday. Weed is legal here in Canada too, but I know they didn't let you take any across the border, so I could definitely hook you and your crew up. I've even got a vaporizer, so. You don't have to smoke and damage your vocal cords. And yes, cannabis is most definitely a plant. It is most definitely vegan. Thanks for listening, everybody. Who's your favorite rapper? What's your favorite album of theirs? Hook me up with some new music for the gym. I always want good shit to listen to. If you want to support the work I do for animals, 100% of the money from V-Gang and Humanimal Alliance Attire is going towards the fight for animal rights. And speaking of music, I finally uploaded some of my songs to Spotify, so let's connect over there. All right, I think that's about it. I'm hungry. Peace out. Think, gang.